hey guys uh, welcome back to my channel welcome back to learn in a nutshell so in the previous few videos we saw about sendgrid how to send mails uh, with sendgrid and node.js uh, if you're interested you can definitely check that out in following few videos we'll talk about azure um, azure portal so i'll be sharing whatever the whatever little knowledge i have about azure here so hope it will be useful uh, to whomever you know watch is watching this so to get started with Azure, uh, in this video, let's um, you know, see how to create a free account. Uh, once you create a free account, you will get you know free trial account for one month with uh, 15,800 credit. So it will be useful you know, for uh, trying out different functionalities in Azure. And uh, to do that, uh, the first thing which we need to do is um, uh, let me go to incognito and um, let me type portal.azure.com so it lasts for uh, username and uh, uh, password so let me give one existing username and password which doesn't have Uh, the free trial uh, you know, Azure portal account so once you go here and provide your password so it will take you to uh, your Azure account, um, but still it won't be you know activated. So we'll have to either do uh, you know you have to start with a free trial or pay as you go uh, account. So when you click on start here, you'll get an option to start free or pay as you go. Click on start free, and um, next few things are uh, you know. Uh, required uh, you'll have to provide your credit card also and a few details about uh, yourself uh, like your first name last name the company the address and then finally it will be verified with the uh, card so you can verify here and uh, click on sign up once you click on sign up it will create uh, you know a recurring payment uh, on your credit card after one month it will start uh, deducting amount as you you know use the user services here but if you don't want to uh, do that you can definitely cancel that recurring payment as well um, immediately after registration as, as well you can do that so sometimes it will get rejected uh, main thing you have to see is, um, is uh, to provide whole details like the address should be proper you should not leave it blank and uh, uh, you'll have to provide uh, name has has is uh, you know in the credit card so all those things you'll have to go, you know be careful about when creating a free account or else it will get rejected so yeah that's how you create a free account and once created you should see uh, you know this coming up this portal coming up you'll have i can uh, make use of different services here and practice accordingly and uh, yeah that's about uh, you know how to create a free account and they can cancel it uh, as soon as you register for a free account so that the recurring payment won't happen after a month and uh, unless uh, they won't start charging also unless you click on pay as you go uh, if you unless you click on upgrade to pay as you go it they are not going to charge anything so you don't have to worry about it as well so yeah that's about it guys i uh, hope this was useful it was a quick uh, you know, uh, video about how to register for a free account in azure portal so in the next video let's uh, start with function app uh, let's see how to um, you know um, work with function app and uh, uh, then followed by let's see how to run it locally uh, using vs code how to run the function app and uh, how to 
uh, install different extensions uh, related to Azure portals in function uh, in VS Code. So we'll see all those things in coming few videos. And um, yeah, hope you all liked it. If you liked it, please do let me know in the comment section and uh, do subscribe, comment, and do share with your friends. And also don't forget to like. Yeah, so yeah, that's all guys. Uh, let's catch you in the next video. Until then, see you. Bye.